Well, have you ever wondered who's behind the murals and other graffiti art popping up all around Pueblo? We caught up with one of the artists behind the movement to restore a culture of art in the Steel City. News 5's Ted Scroback was in Pueblo today with graffiti artist Matthew Taylor discussing those works of art. Ted? Yeah, Zach, whether you're in the Bessemer area or downtown, you'll see graffiti. While some of it is, vandal is vandalism, other areas are well thought out murals adding to the culture of Pueblo. This is Matthew Taylor, the man behind the murals of Pueblo. As long as I can remember, I was an artist. It transforms into me learning to spray paint my name into learning to spray paint 50 foot tall horses. Matt is from Pueblo, picked up his first spray paint can when he was just 10, inspired by the famous murals in the train yard. There was a lot of graffiti coming through and going, and you'd see a lot of famous artists in and out of the yard, so that was like something that was inspiring. Today, he works on a smaller painting in a greasy alley downtown. You can find artwork from Matt and others in the Bessemer area, but downtown, you can take a tour of some of the city's best pieces. There's tons of art, like artists here, you know, that do graffiti art and in a, like a really professional capacity where, you know, you'll see it all over the city. There's mid-sized paintings. How long does something like this take to paint? Uh, it took us five days to paint this. Is this one of your bigger murals? Um, it's, it's like a mid-sized mural. You'll see bigger ones. Murals on sides of buildings. This is still the biggest painting that I've ever done. And ones you have to hunt for. If you want, I have a cool painting that if you want to squeeze past here. The alleys downtown are filled with art. It's the practice canvas for the larger projects. Leftover paint from other projects, so I had a little bit of each of all these colors and I could just kind of like make little clusters of different things and use up the little bits of paint that I had. His most high profile project is on the side of the Arts Center. This is kind of the last the biggest piece I've done. I came from painting, you know, these rougher neighborhoods and now I get it. I just, you know, I painted the side of the museum. At 18, Matt wanted to go professional. He went to art school in Boston and L.A., then traveled to Sydney. He returned to Pueblo to try and bring something good to the community. This was a little tour of my art, but there's every neighborhood has a lot of it. It's kind of a fun thing to explore because it's like a better side of Pueblo. Where you're like, oh, shoot, there's like artwork all over the place. And walking around with Matt, it was easy to see he's one of the most popular people around downtown. He also says Pueblo has a graffiti vandalism problem, but the murals, he's never had an issue with people ruining his art with extra spray paint. Zach? Beautiful.